All right, pinball fans. Um, this is going to be a quick video. Um, I want to go in a little more depth of uh, my update. This is the brand new baller installer, so this will be following directly after that. So as you see here, I've just finished installing the new baller installer. I'm about to close it out, and I want to talk a little bit about the DMD device, the I and I, and the different color system. So. Um, this actually installs the latest 2.21 of Freezy. Okay, so I'm going to show you if you want to keep the, everything original, you want to keep it how it is. I'm going to show you how to enable the color system in the new Freezy files, or you can use my update and revert back a little bit to 2.1 and use the Lucky One system. Now both work as far as I know. I, I think Freezy still has a few issues with his. Um, I know for a fact that all of Lucky One stuff works, um, including the new CRZ, uh, like the new Elvis or whatever. But um, it's up to you. It's your choice. Um, I've heard that the 2.21 works with everything now. You just have to enter in the... Um, the uh, codes and, and whatnot in the DMD uh, device to INI. So I'm going to show you how to edit that. Um, so before I do any updating or anything, I, this is it. I've just finished installing a fresh baller. I'm going to hit close and we're going to go to the uh, virtual pinball folder. So I got C, V pinball, visual pinball, um, V pin main. Okay. And like I said, he has the new uh, DMD EXT here. This is the Freezy version. Now if you look at the DMD uh, device.ini, let's open that up and look at it. Um, so this is what we have. We have different settings here. Um, scale to fit. Uh, you have your scalar mode, which is um, makes the dots. It, it doubles them or whatever you want to do. I like running doubler. It seems like a cleaner look. But that's up to you. You can put on what you want. Um, okay, so uh, V and I. Now, yeah, for this, for the Freezy version, so basically what you need to do, you're going to have to go to um, VP Universe. You need to go to the forums, down to DMD Extensions. Okay. It said like 2.2 final. Here it is. All right, let's see if it's in here. Okay. So this is the new thing. This is the plugins. It's got a point to where your plugins are. Um, so we're going to go in the global paths here. So he wants to know the plugins for the pin2color.dll, and you need this key code here for the for the I and I. So let's just copy this key code. We're going to copy this. Copy. We're going to paste it in. Paste. All right, so that's the key code. All right. So let's get the. Um, this is the default path. Let's copy this. Paste. Let's get the 64-bit one. Copy. Now this is if you installed it into the. Um, uh, actually, that will not be right. Uh, that is not what I have for a pass. So I guess we need to go and get your own. So how we're going to do that is just go in here. We're going to look, see where it is. Pin to color. Right here. Right click. Go to properties. And here's my path. So let's just copy it. Location here. Copy. Now you're going to have to leave that name at the end so I'm going to just paste it from here over paste and the 64 bits in the same location so I can just copy and paste okay do you understand that so it has to be your location however your install is so mine's uh, C V pinball visual pinball V pin MAME and then the color file do you guys have both of those yeah, hope you understand that. That's for 32-bit and 64-bit. Okay. All right. So you can go in here. Um, virtual DMD. You pretty much always want that to stay on top. So we'll set that to true. Um, what else? 
That's mainly it. All right. So we're going to save this. Now this is the default one that the uh, new baller installer installs. So I'm actually going to test this out. Um, so we save that. I should have some tables and stuff already in here because I just copied over mine. And I just put a few in here. Okay. So I know I have the new Elvis. So let's test that to begin with. Okay. So we're going to be pinball. Be pinball. I want the GL. Create shortcut. Actually, I do want to use the. I want to update uh, GL um, because there was a brand new version that just came out. Um, I have it in my already in my update files. If you guys want to get it, so it'll be number three here. We're going to open that up. Take these, drag them in. Simple as that. That's all you got to do. There's no setup or anything. Um, but the new version's like 17.22, so they're getting they're getting on with it. Okay, so I'm going to click this. I'm going to open Elvis. Uh, I don't know why I got two. Let's just try this. And let's hit play. Let's see if the color file works. Oh. Never mind. Let me back up. I need to set my monitor. For some reason in the videos it has a wrong monitor. So display one. Here we go. Windows cabinet. Alright. And also, I know what we need to do because um, Nailbuster does not have color enabled. So we're going to have to go to our VPN main folder. Go down to Setup or Setup 64, either one. They both they both work. Um, setup Defaults and it's Check Colorized. All right, so we got that. Now we have enabled color. All right, let's try that again. Okay. And since I started it up already one time without color enabled, I'm going to have to hit F1, I bet. The new GL, the um, thing will be behind the play field, so you're going to have to tab to it. Yes, yeah, see, color was not enabled, so we're going to hit OK. Alright, now we're going to close this out. Third time's a charm. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay, okay. We're working with something. Here you guys go. You can see the new Elvis. Looks pretty good. So I confirm it does work with the installed color file system. You just need to enable it. And you need to get the uh, VNI keys. And you need to get the set your plugins up. Okay? So if you do that, um, let's test some other. That's the CRZ file, but I don't know about uh, Star Trek. Let's try that out. I think this is a pack file or something. Okay, all right, here it is. Um, I gotta hit F3 to restore. I gotta be on the table, sorry. F3, reset my DMD. All right, come bring it over here. So it does work. So if you want to use the installed, the updated version 2.21, you just need to do what I, what I said. You need to go and get the um, code and all that and update okay I'm not positive that if it don't have any issues or anything like that um, I've heard some some people having issues with it okay so take that for what it is um, I will show you the new uh, or not shack new but I will do the lucky um, so basically what you can do is you can take uh, if you did want to use Lucky's, you can take the uh, DMD device to INI out. Because <coughs> that has your DMD locations on it. And then um, 
all you'd have to do is take my update files go here it's just one file open this up grab all these drag them in replace and um, this DMD device to INI already works no codes no uh, linking the plugins or anything crazy like that so you just open it up make sure you have things set how you want it um, now what you can do you can go down to this location right here so I'm going to open my old one up that we just drug out okay alright now we're gonna just go down to my DMD location and size and I can just copy the numbers over so copy paste copy paste or if you don't even want to bother with all this all you have to do is actually um, just start a table up move a DMD where you want it and then you can just right click and save it I mean it's that's just usually what I do but if you wanted to just go ahead and copy your stuff over you can do that and also so say you have okay so say you have a bunch of stuff saved you had your old backup sorry somebody's out there with a motorcycle just wide open but I'm gonna go let's open up a pinball save setup be pinball pinball v pin mame I'm gonna to go to my backup of my DMD device to INI alright so if I go all the way to the bottom it I have a bunch of saved um, like DMD size and locations and all that so what you can do is you can just take this go down to here copy all these right click copy you can go to the bottom of your new one down here right click paste them in so whenever you run those tables the DMDs will already be sized and set to location just like that alright um, but yeah lucky ones doesn't need anything special all you gotta do is it, drag it in there drop it and start it up so we're gonna save it I'll show you that it works we're going to open up the new Elvis again. Alright, so here's the new Elvis DMD. Like I said, it works either way. Um, with the Lucky or Freezy. Um, so I guess the choice is yours. Um, if you don't want to fool with updating, if you just want to stick strictly with the new Baller installer and the 2.21, um, you just need to go get those codes and the uh, VNI key, and that'll work. Or you can drag and drop Luckies into your folder, and that'll work also. also. So, um, what else I want to go over? All right, I will go over one more thing of uh, the. Um, direct output plugins um, I will not set this up for you but I will show you how to get the plugins to work where to put the files um, I'll include them uh, so basically you have direct output direct output 64 um, we're gonna put both of these with the um, you can put them on C drive or in your V pinball folder I'll just stick them in here V pinball folder all right so we got direct output, direct output 64. And all you got to do is go C, V pinball, visual pinball, um, tables, and then plugins. So plugins is here. That's the regular 32 bit. So all you do is take direct output, create a shortcut. All right. Plugin 64, output 64 create a shortcut all right and then I'll check and make sure that it works I'll do open GL file Elvis load it up 
go over here, right click the back glass, check plugins, and as you can see, they are active. See that? Look, I have pinup player active, and I have direct output active. Okay? You guys got that? So it's that simple. That sets it off up, or gets it going for you. You just have to configure it. I mean, I can't configure it for you. Every setup's different. And um, so I hope that part helps you. Um, but it's easy enough. Um, what else can I help you with? Um, oh, another thing. So if you've had a whole bunch of, like me, I've got a bunch of pretty good mini t tables that have the um, VP alias set up. So that's definitely something that you want to have saved. So if you go get your old um, VP alias, um, so I'm going to go to my backup, Ch -ch 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 -ch, pinball, v pinball, v pin meme, down here at the bottom, VP alias, just, you can open it, you see out what all I got in here, um, just drag it and drop it over top of your, uh, your uh, new one. So just go to your new folder, uh, your new install. Yeah, VP alias is down here. Okay. So I'll just take my new one, drag it in here, replace. So that'll set those up. That's about it. Um, if you got any questions, you have any more ideas or something that you need help with, um, feel free to leave a message. Um, and I'll see what I can do to help you guys out. But uh, I hope that clears up the DMD device to INI. Um, the Freezy and the Lucky, the 2.21, 2.1, however you want to do it. And um, yeah, till next time.